all right guys so to start off with i already have i already painted the eyes and the nose just to save some time so the first step is to add a base color so here is the color that i've added this is brown kind of color which i'm adding so you want to make sure you have your base ready we want to start off with a solid base and this is a reference that i'm using for this artwork and i'm still learning painting animals in fur so i always try to use some sort of reference while i'm painting so yeah so once you have your base ready and again this video is just about creating and painting fur hence the reason why i didn't show you guys how i painted the eyes and the nose and everything else but i do have a really fast forwarded um, video snippet that I've added in this tutorial so you'll be able to see how I have actually painted it so once you have your solid base ready what you want to do is as you guys can see I am picking up different colors from this reference and I am just adding these colors just like that and I'm not even shading them I'm not trying to create any sort of um, hair strand or fur and to do so I am using soft airbrush so that's what you want to do no matter what animal you're painting just have your base color ready and just start adding these little um, blobs of color I would say or little shapes of color as I'm doing right here and if you have some sort of reference with you just pick colors up from that reference and start adding those in if you're still practicing so yeah that's what I'm doing and um, I will tell you why I'm doing so because right now it's looking really really messy and and it's not at all looking like fur so you might be thinking how I'm gonna do that but it's really really easy you guys it's so easy that you cannot even imagine so the first step is to just do this other thing that I suggest is to if you are doing it this for the first time make sure you're adding these colors in different layers so let's just say um, you have a different layer for dark brown color, you have a different layer for pink color, you have a different layer for yellow color, and I will tell you later why. Now, once you have these ready with you, as you guys can see, I have two different layers of these. But if you're new again, make sure you are, you know, creating new layer for um, separate colors. Now, that way it's easier to blend those out. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to blending tool and pick up technical plan from calligraphy brush set increase the size of the brush and also the opacity and as you guys can see i went back to the base where i added the base color and i started just blending the color out so if you don't know how the blending tool works i will you know link a video down in the description or somewhere on the screen where I actually tell you guys how these tools work. So basically what we're doing is we are moving pixels. And the reason why I use technical pen as my blending tool is because whenever I'm painting hair or fur, I always use technical pen because it's really good for creating hair like strokes. So what we're doing here is we are moving pixels from one place to another in the shape of a hair strand i hope this is making sense so what i'm doing is i'm just blending it out i'm just taking the i'm just going over that brown base and just creating this almost hair stroke kind of a structure with that blending tool and just moving it outwards just to create this fur kind of look i hope this is making sense you guys if not um, do leave questions down in the description I'm trying my best to explain this but we're just you know blending these colors in hair stroke kind of shape that's where that's what we're doing here so what I did is I went back to again I, I was on the layer where I added the base color and I started I make, made sure that this painting has you know fur around the edges as well so that's the reason why i went back to the base layer and i started really just creating these hair like strokes just with the blending tool so now once you have that so now basically what i'm doing is i went back to the layer where i added these little blobs of color 
and i'm doing the same thing here i am basically i'm just blending these all out together and but at the same time i am blending these out in a shape of a hair strand or fur so that's what i'm doing here and that's how we are going to be blending all these colors out another thing you want to make sure that you remember is that you are blending the dark colors first and you are pay, uh, blending the lighter ones later on because we want to make sure that the lighter fur, especially if there is some sort of light that is hitting the object or the animal, I should say, um, if there is some sort of light that is hitting the face of the animal, those fur or those hair of the fur are going to be over everything. Um, as in those hair strands or those hair strokes are going to be over the dark ones so first comes the dark hair strokes or dark um, fur and then comes the lighter one because it becomes lighter as it uh, moves um, towards the direction of that light source I hope this is making sense I'm trying my best so uh, yeah, that's how I am blending and as you guys can see it's looking pretty good now I'm just gonna play out the whole uh, Fast forward did snippet here so you guys can see how I painted the nose the eyes and everything of that sort and I will be back So yeah, that's how you actually create fur on an animal and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was really easy you guys. I would highly recommend you guys to give this a try. And even if you your software doesn't have a technical pen, you can use any sort of inking brush to do this. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.